Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Grim Fandango. Let's get out of here because Glad just keeps talking over me and he's really loud. So, in the last one, we uh, got our union membership and we got birthed on the, the boat by um, intoxicating Naranya and then pulling some eye jinx to get a birth on the boat. If you wanted to check that out, this is in the last episode. And now we need some tools for Gladys so we can go on the boat. So to get the tools for Gladys, we need to get Terry out of jail. We need a lawyer. So let's talk to the only lawyer we know. How's tricks, Nick? Yeah. Virago, I really need a lawyer. Well, my dance card is full. So what are you going to do? I'll ask Max if I can borrow you. He doesn't like sharing his counsel any more than he likes sharing his girlfriend. So don't bother. Well, you know all about that, don't you? I could pay you more than him. Manny, look around you. Maximino could buy your club and use it as a litter box. It's not very nice. I could force you to do it with this gun. If anybody had guns in this town but us, we'd know. I could tell Max about you and Olivia. That sort of claim could send a man like Max into quite a rage, especially if the messenger had no proof. Max and I are friends. He'll believe me. People believe what they want to believe, Calavera. And I want to believe you're a smart man who doesn't go around spreading dangerous rumors. I've got to talk to Max for a moment. When I get back, I hope you're gone, because I'm sick of looking at you. I don't like you very much. Man, this is going to get me in trouble. There's something rattling inside. Must be in a hidden compartment somewhere, but I don't see a latch or anything. Let's see now. Let's look at it. It's Virago's cigarette case. <laughs> let's take it. Oh, let's see what he's looking at. It looks like Boeing tax stuff that I don't need. Yeah. That reminds me, I still haven't done my taxes. It looks like Boeing tax stuff that I don't need. Let's get out of here. I don't think it would be a good idea to barge into Max's office while he's meeting with Nick. Oh yeah, right. I always get lost here. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, there we go. I couldn't get around the backside. So it's uh get in there. Finally. <laughs> I hate how every scene Glass is in, he's extremely loud and just keeps talking over me the entire time. I like Glass though, he's one of my favorite characters. Let's take a look at this thing again. Select. What am I supposed to do with this? Or something rattling around inside it. I don't know what it is. Now I got an idea how to get. Whoa, I don't want to go over there. Gotta get this key out. Let's see if we can blow it up in her nation chamber. Or whatever that thing is called. What? Oh, you didn't take it out? I don't think that would no, get me the key. What's that? Oh. I talked to her about it. Uh, it's a little something special I bought for you. Don't try to make nice, Manny. It's too late. <laughs> oh, if you don't understand why she doesn't what? like you very much, is because I took her. I used her, I her, her metal I detector. <laughs> Unattended? Yes. Oh my god. Give me that. It's a yes. bomb. She just glid. She just <laughs> glided right across the floor. Glid. Ha <laughs> ha! Another senseless act of terrorism nipped in the bud by security officer Carla. Wow. 
It was completely destroyed by our own detonator, so I can't tell what kind of bomb it was. But here's something. A key? I better bring that to Chief Bogan. Yeah, you can key. analyze it with your metal detector. Yep, she's still upset with me. He's gonna be slightly annoyed that I did that. I don't care, I hate the guy. So I got a pretty good idea what the key is for. It's, oh, wrong spot. It's the only locked door in town. I couldn't find the gate there for a second. And the only locked door in town is the lighthouse. So let's head on over there and oh, froze for a second. I don't understand why the hitching is going on. It's like 120 frames per second. Do 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 gotta be for this door. Yes it is. Lola, did Nick do this to you? Yeah, he wanted that picture real bad, but he's never gonna find it, that thing. I'll get him, Lola. I'll show Max the picture for you and fix Nick for good. Just tell me where you hid it. Oh, Manny, it's all my fault. Always falling for the wrong guys. You know, I even had a thing for you once. But you were so hung up on that Meche woman, I, I figured I didn't have a chance. Lola, where's the picture? Tell me, Manny. But I've had a chance. Never mind. You just want Olivia for me. Tell her to improve her taste in men, or she'll end up just like me. Tell her to get a nice guy, Manny. Like you. Lola! Lola! Ooh. That peckerhead, he shot Lola. Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it. And it says that number 22, in... Lengua. Lengua. So, <laughs> that was pretty creepy. We see the flowers pop out through her eyes. So that lawyer dude the sh shot Lola. So she was here sitting up there for like the past two or three episodes. There's flowers growing out of her. <laughs> Makes me wish I did this a little bit faster. <laughs> but we got that uh, lengua, and a pretty uh, good idea where that comes into play. We hit it at my club. So I'm betting. Um, what's her face? That really hyper girl. Don't know what to do with it. Let's head up there. And into Manivera Cafe. I mean, Calvera Cafe. Manivera. <laughs> Manivera. Lengua. Oh, right here. Hey, this is a card for my new coat check system. You do care. Can I have my coat, please? You bet. This is so exciting. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. 22, 22, 22. Lengua, lengua, lengua. Aha! Here it is. Oh, darn. What's wrong? Just shoot me. Lupe, what is it? This can't be yours. That's it. Thanks. What are you doing with a tiny girl jacket? I don't suppose there was a camera back there anywhere. Uh, no. She must have hidden that somewhere else. Uh, I I'll tell you tomorrow. Lupe. It's Lola's jacket. Poor Lola. I'm crazy. If I only had her camera or that film, I could really get Nick. There's a yeah, little slip of paper in one of the pockets. You mean like a bedding stub? All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? Uh, 
Can I see it? All that this paper says oh. is it number really is 36, like a... the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? Okay. Let's go on down to the bedding track. Gotta get a pretty good idea. The rusty anchor is a... 36, the rusty anchor. Hmm. Ouch! Hit my hand against the dust. Alrighty, so let's head down to the bedding track and see if Lola left that picture for us. Or actually, this is 36 Rusty Anchor. It made me remember something. What does that have to do with that bedding machine? Not a whole lot. But there is somebody who has a tattoo parlor and a book called Anchor Mania. So let's go talk to that guy. He's down here. I wish this uh, had a mini map or something so I just click on the place and automatically go to it instead of just running around the old place. The old uh, Monkey Island games had it and um, a few other games too. Like, uh, Circle of Blood, the first one had it. I'm not sure the second one had it or not. So let's see if this guy would answer my questions. Uh, let's get that out. What? Okay. <laughs> What's going on here? That's weird. Yeah, but I tell you, but I cannot. Now, I just had a little problem with the game. I'm not sure exactly why it did what it did. So I don't think that will shed any light on things. I'm supposed to give this to him. I'm absolutely supposed to. I've been trying it over and over and over again. I actually thought that maybe I'm doing something wrong. And I went around and showed this to absolutely everybody and tried a bunch of other things. But the problem is, since I'm using a controller, when I click on him, he isn't actually talking to Velas or um, what's this guy's name? Is it Velasco? Anyway, so I need to use the mouse, click on him, and then show it. Hang on a second. This means Try that again. To you? you mean beside the song, the poem, there we go. and the bar, and the statue by that name? Sure. It is one of my most famous designs. Here, I show you. Let's see. Uh, number 30. Harmin Sedge, Harmin Sketer. Ah, 36. Here. Hey, what is this? Come on. My friend Lola left that here for me. Oh, oh yeah. She's a little bit slow there. Lola was here, sweet girl, like daughter to me. Tell her Papa Toto says hello. Well, oh, she right. stayed here. Um, that's kind of hard now, but <laughs> that really pissed me off because I thought I had the right solution. He has a book called Anchor Mania. She gave me a thing called. Um, 36 rusty anchor and I tried it over and over again I thought I had the wrong solution so I went around looking around I actually had to look up a friggin um, walk through to figure out what I was doing wrong is this is show it to him I tried showing it to him a million times and it didn't work whoa that Looks made like me mad scruff scruff. let's look at this now so 6-6 six, six, number 114 so now let's take this over to the bedding parlor. Bedding parlor or track or whatever the heck you call it. This is one of the things, I really like adventure games, but that's one of the things that kind of throw me off about them. Sometimes you run into, oh, <laughs> oh, get the hell up there. You run into little problems like that where if you haven't talked to somebody, you haven't said a sentence to them or 
you think you're clicking on something and you're not quite clicking on it and everything goes to heck I, I don't think that here. would shed any light on things I don't think that would shed any light on things I don't think that would shed any light on do I have my picture there I don't think that would oh come on okay <laughs> let's try something a little bit different let's look at the picture again um yeah here we go so E said they don't give out the cat eyes marry me Olivia okay the Olivia won okay I got an idea uh ooh, the controls over here is that cat over here is that cat statue majestic <laughs> feline was a record holder for speed and a favorite of the crowds here in Rubacava for many years until her career was suddenly and tragically cut short on the second week of the racing season when the airship Olivia One on its maiden voyage crashed onto the track mid-race and exploded. Many bereaved fans testified later that before the blimp hit, Sans Spoof was in the lead. So, the second week of the racing season, and we got a picture of uh, the, that cat race. There's a blimp in it, and I'm pretty sure that's the Olivia one. It even shows a Marry Me Olivia. I think it said Marry Me Olivia. It certainly looks like it. And it's also the cat ears. So when you talk to the, this guy did? over here, is it this one? I told you, we don't give out the kitty cats him? till Tuesday. <laughs> Okay, and there's a big six on that racing sign, so let's put all that together, and we get, um, 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 I come it's always in the opposite direction now uh, looking. So it's the second race, it's Tuesday, because somebody was wearing cat ears. It's the sixth race, because, uh, I think this is race. And it was the second Me week the of the racing printer. season. We're gonna make a mint. It's a betting stub for let's see, see if I got it right now. Week six, race two. Oh, I got the I got it backwards. Let's try it again. Um. Okay. <laughs> Why does that take so long? <laughs> you see, he threw down the old betting stub that he had there. Um, it's Tuesday, so this is race, and, and this is. Printer, we're gonna make a mint. I probably just did that exactly the same. It's a betting stop for. I bet you I did. Tuesday. Week two, race <laughs> six. Perfect. Hello. Give it to hi. me. Betting stop, please. Here you go. You happy, happy hey, little man. This looks different than our usual ticket. Well, that's because it's from uh, last season. All right, just a second. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> what an awful excuse. Aha. What? Are you a winner? Big winner. Thanks, pal. Glad I could help. Pretty slick, Manny. Big winner. I'm a big winner. Uh, whoops. Pushed the wrong button. So we got the picture. So Loa must have come in here and uh, switched out those pictures and everything. Ooh. Hey, hey, hey. I just want to walk around with this out. Get that lawyer prick. Ah. So that's where tank. Oh my God. <laughs> tank control is coming handy. I think that guy was oh, up no, to something. In here. Don't you, Doug? Doug? Who? Oh, that guy? Doug? Personally, I think he was nuts. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I think they're the same guy. Oh, do, do, do you're in trouble. 
You're in trouble, my friend. Who should I show it to? Him or him? Oh, wait. I need to get his cooperation. I don't need him to get shot or killed. So, hey, look what I got. what I found at the photo finish booth. Looks like Naughty Kitten and Bad Tomcat are neck and neck. What do you want? I want to tell you a sad story of a young man unjustly imprisoned merely for speaking his mind. It's time to shake up the hive! I guess our business is settled. Suck it. Almost. <clears throat> what? Was that for the photo, girl? No, that was just for being Nice. I don't have time to get you for Lola. But I'm sure somebody will. You didn't have time to save her either. But don't feel too bad about that, Manny. I hear saving women really isn't your forte. Punch him again. Punch him again. Stupid aqua suit. Aqua? Um, where do I have to go? I gotta go down stairs. Talk to Terry. And maybe I'll get his equipment. That would be fantastic. What I really hate about these adventure games are that they're great games, but little things like that could piss people off. And I played this game before years ago, and I still had trouble with. I hate how these guys always. <laughs> Yeah. So let's go talk to. Like I was saying, that somebody who was playing this game for the first time, there's a few of these puzzles they could be hopelessly stuck, and a few of them where they might have a solution. Looks like you're all ready to go, Manny, except one. Where's that piano player of yours? He's having a little goodbye party. I'll go get him. Tell him to hurry up. The limbo can't sail without him. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. Right. All right. We're all good. Now all I gotta do is go get Gladys. So, um, like I was saying, it could be not even, this is the quickest way, their fault. So I would click on total, but you kind of need to click in the right spot. If you're using controller, you're kind of screwed. I couldn't get him to actually click on it, no matter how many times I tried. And then frustrate them, they'll get them to go to a walkthrough or get them to quit the game altogether. Huh? Okay. That's a hey? Good Where's Gladys? Open up! <laughs> it wouldn't open up. Coming home soon? What did you say? Hey, the guy. Kitty? Don't talk, kitty cat. Just run, baby. Yeah. Just run, run. You can do it. Okay. So. Almost there. Uh, time is run a little bit go, short. Go, go. This one is going on for a little while now, so yeah. I think I'm going to cut it there. Hope you enjoyed this. If you've been enjoying these videos, I hope you subscribe for updates for this video and other videos I've done. But once again, thank you for watching, and I hope you catch me in the next one. Goodbye! You got stuck. Not my fault. I guess I gotta go down there and finish you off. Please give me my arrows. Yes, you gave me my arrows back. And there's Iron Knight Border. Yeah, why not? Let's try it. That asshole. Okay. I won't be able to attack them there. He has five of them, so that should be good. <laughs>